Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. Donnie Gilson on 8-28-2012, 6.47 of the p.m. My good friend Illuminati Symbols 13 uh, uploaded a video about 24 hours ago called What the F Moment Planet X Sunrise. I want to just take a look at the footage here because we're going to go into an organized effort on how these trolls, we have found the leader of who the troll is uh, that is trying to take down our YouTube channel once again. But remarkably enough, it looks like the YouTube channel is going to be reinstated. If you look right here at uh, about 17 hours ago, I go, again, I think this is funny as hell. You had to bunk this one. You can still see it appears as if you can see it through the tree lines. Too funny. This is the best evidence I've seen yet. Slow it down and watch. No way, this is a hoax. Well, this is the second time I posted this. I had posted it about three hours earlier. And also, there's another one down here called The Galactic Federation Reacts to Termination of Earth Susan Adams Accounts. The reason why I posted this is because I wanted to prove how these trolls pay attention to every word and how they stalk my Facebook profile. If you look right over here, of course, I put the new 32 Degrees of Insanity 829-2012 Dual Sun Herculobus Planet X are real, the smoking gun. Well, I did this for a reason. I did this to set, the, set, set a trap to see if these trolls would come out and maybe I could find out who the ringleader was. Well, in fact, I did. Because there is a video out right now called What the F Moment Planet X Sunrise Equals Debunked. Right here, you can see at 18 hours ago, T-Bar 1984 comes out with this with, with this particular video. And as you can see, you are right, of course, because I just had to see if Dottie would take the bait. He did, of course. Hopefully, this will be his final straw. Read this comment on the original video here, YouTube. And then he gives, it, he gives this because, you know, they're like, why do you support his stuff as well so what i find funny is now we have an organized effort of we know that t-bar now is responsible for the organized effort uh against my channel interesting enough when i talked to you when i told you a little bit about also this uh, particular video right here the galactic federation reacts to termination of versus adam's account I posted that about 17 hours ago. Within five minutes, guys, within five minutes, that, if, you, if we click on it here, watch what happens. This video has been removed as a violation of YouTube's policy prohibiting hate speech. Sorry about that. All the video has said is I'm going to slaughter the trolls. So if trolls are actually people, well, then I could see it would be some sort of hate speech. But how is trolls, how are trolls... They're, aren't they mythical creatures? I thought they were. That's what I thought. But how can you have hate speech against trolls? Unless there's an organized effort or some sort of software program that's actually sending out and flagging these videos. And of course, you can see right here, the proof is in the pudding that they are set, trying to set a bait or trying to set a trap to bring down these videos. Now, I want you to take a look at this video again. And as you can see, also, guys, here's something quite interesting. Um, I put my name in the search engines. It looks like Donnie Gelson's official 32 Degrees of Insanity YouTube channel is, you know, you can see 10,735 subscribers. It looks like it's coming back in the search engine, but when you go to it right now, it looks like it's still gone. So I'm not quite sure what this means. Uh, could it mean that they're rebuilding everything? Because, I mean, I've got, like, over 300 videos. They probably have to go in and reestablish everything. So it looks like, let's cross our fingers, that now it's showing up in the search engine again. So that means that the channel is coming back. I hope that's what it looks like. But still, when you press on that, you still get the account has been terminated due to repeat or severe violations of terms of service. Now, what I, what I don't get is how the hell... You know, these other guys can use copyrighted footage. And actually, Illuminati Symbol 13 is a very close friend of mine. And as you can see, as she's driving along, you can see this particular object clear as day in front of everything. And it does the exact same thing that any sort of sun would do if it's 
both of them are doing as they go through. As you, if you ever take video of the sun, it's going to. And a lot of people are going after this particular place right here. Let's see if I can stop it. Let's see if I can bring it back here just a tad bit. They're trying to say that this is a... Did you see that? That little reflection there at 31. They're trying to say right as we go here. There we go. Right there as it showed up as a reflection. But it showed up as two different reflections. And of course it was just shining through the trees. Guys, I'll back that up again so you can see it real quick here. There we go. See, and you can still see there are two definitive bodies. But what I wanted to take a look at is, like I always do, is go to see where it is in Stellarium. Of course, it is at sunrise, so it's about 1131, uh, 11. It's about an eight-hour difference in Tennessee. And, of course, we see it uh, at the Deccan Ra. It is actually in Leo, 1035, 16, 11, 07, 04. But then I looked at the... Ra and deck as well of 1034 36 11 11 0 and I noticed something quite interesting I also saw that it was an ISC 622 that's an actual galaxy all right but when you take a look at sky map what do we see right over here guys yep that is the so-called Herculobus system right here the infamous system right here right off to the right hand side but when you, if you would be looking at it, because we know that telescopes are looking in reverse, it would add up. It would be in the perfect spot where the sun was. Sun would be right here. The perfect spot on the left-hand side of where this was shot. Right like this. Here we go again. Let's take a look at it right there. You can see it right there. She caught the smoking gun, guys. Right there. Perfect as you could be. If we look at Stellarium, we see right here, she's in Tennessee. She's a good friend of mine. She's right outside of Nashville. So she is right there, as you can see, right in the sun. Bingo. You can't. It's, it's too perfect. Absolutely too perfect, guys. Also, remember that the NASA event tomorrow to discuss black holes and extreme objects will be going on. It starts at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, NASA will host a uh, news teleconference at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time, August 29th, to announce new discoveries from its Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. Could this be coincidence? What's happening tomorrow as well? We have the uh, Mitt Romney at the Repu Republican National Convention, and also Hurricane Isaac is going to be hitting landfall, and it is the fifth year anniversary of Katrina. Is this all coincidence? No, it is not. And one more thing about coincidences, of course, we see here in Tennessee, right outside of Memphis, that the sun is in at, at 1131 or at sunrise. Uh, 1131 is UTC, so it'd be about 631 in the morning. Uh, sunrise, we can see that it is in Leo. And a lot of people are like saying, well, how come it, it's supposed to be coming from the south uh, out of Antarctica? But here we see, if we go down and we take a look at the same exact time at Newmar Station. This is interesting. Watch this. Look at where the sun is. The sun is in the same constellation of Leo at the same exact time. So it's in Leo, just like we've been talking about the whole time, is that it's moving into Leo and then moving down into Aquarius and into, uh, I believe, it's going to end up in Aquarius right around December 21st, 2012. Let's continue. Also, if you want to see something kind of interesting during that same period of time, about a half hour later at 1027 at 12 UTC down in Antarctica, we're going to see something very interesting move out in this direction. Well, it's the moon. As you can see, it's right here moving up. It's very, very faint. And you can see it move up. But what is causing the moon to appear during the day usually we don't see it on some sort until some sort of light source picks it up it's very very faint so that to me tells me that there is something bright behind there as you can see the moon moving back and forth right there through Nirmar as I page through this on the same exact date at the same exact time 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play my, my good friend's uh, video here. And as you can see, she's actually in her car. She's in the passenger side. She's viewing this from her own two eyes. Now, interesting enough, look at the wings here as well. See that wing right underneath the sun? Looks like it's a larger body in the lens flare right here, but that's kind of an interesting wing. It bends with the, it, it bends with the environment. And you guys got to remember one thing. They're traveling at 40 to 50, maybe even 60 miles an hour on a freeway, and this is not moving one bit. A lens flare, if it was a lens flare, it would not sit solid with this. I don't care what anybody says, this is the Dark Star, the Blue Dwarf, Blue Kachina, this is what we've been looking for. And we can see by the coordinates, it lines up perfectly with the Herculobus system. I'm not going to call it Nibiru system anymore because, of course, we have outlined that before in the past. Of course, here is another uh, picture. How many times do I say, of course? I love saying that word, of course, because here Martin Michael Guerrero shot this shot. Boy, doesn't that look a lot like it looks like it's in front of the clouds and it looks a lot like the orb that was down at New Mars Station. Another person. Everybody's trying to direct everybody to T-Bar for his debunk. What kind of credentials does T-Bar have? He has about as much credentials as I do. But I can tell you, we can tell it's an organized effort because they said, let's see if Donnie takes the bait. Well, I've got the proof in the pudding, and we've got another shot of it right here of another orb of some sort right within the clouds. We can tell... You are right, of course, but I just had to see if Donnie would take the bait. You're going to trust a guy that's going to try to set somebody up to, to, to bunk? If you haven't been over to check out my Before It's News, Planet X researcher Ursu Adams' 30 Degrees of Insanity YouTube channel has been terminated, you might want to come over here and take a look at the information box below. Because in this article, of course, I show you this picture of Herculobus right here and of course the eerie thing that happened on 410 look at that orb right there guys right here that was above Numar and then take a look at that right there weather balloon not same thing same exact thing but as we go down further we'll see that I put up a confessions of an ex-internet shill and as you can read through this, and you can go down to the comments sections, you are going to see an all-out attack on me. Talking about flagging DCMAs and all this stuff, using copyrighted material and all this stuff. However, T-Bar is, of course, using our good friend's stuff without her permission. And I taught her how to file a, uh, a copyright claim against Mr. T-Bar. Uh, in regards to this and hopefully so that'll be his third strike hopefully his website will be taken down for using her material without his permission see this is we wanted to see if he would take the bait and of course he did because it's all out war right now in regards to the shills trying to take this information and hide it suppress it so it's a positive thing that we are seeing donnie gilson's official youtube channel uh showing up in the search engine it looks like a lot of people up here in twitter are saying restore my channel restore my channel so we've got a lot of things going on if you'd like to call in to youtube all you have to do is email uh legal dash source at google.com or copyright at youtube Got dot com, and uh, you can put in your two cents worth to let's get our channel restored. Also, just join us on Truth Frequency Radio Network on Saturday nights, and of course on Friday, on Mondays and Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time till midnight, 32 degrees of insanity on Freedomizer radio.com also you can subscribe to us right here on our facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash ursu adams and subscribe right here if you think what t-bar is doing i would tag him as well we can bring him down because he is the leader of the pack talk to you guys soon 
God bless.